Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening to all my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to thank you for being here one more time. I want to tell you like, I appreciate you taking time out to study the Word of God. May the Lord richly bless you and grant you the desires of your heart according to His will and His power. Brothers and sisters, this is Dr. PJ from the Prophetic Word. I just want to share with you something in my, is in my heart. In 1999, I had a vision. There was no food anywhere in America, in the supermarkets, on the shelves, and people was running around with their children in the street, even beer feeded. It was so chaotic. People from all races background was just bawling and running away and trying to find food. At the time I went back to the church where I was a volunteer minister and I spoke to my senior pastor. My senior pastor looked at me and he thought it was a joke. He laughed. He said, girl, you don't eat you a sour pickle. This is America. We are not a third world country. We don't have those type of problems. Ever since the Great Depression, we got it together now. So I didn't say anything. I said, well, pastor, I know what God showed me. And I know I serve a God that does not lie. So the pastor is no longer here. He passed probably about five years ago. I went to be with the Lord. But it's heavy on my chest. In the area where I live, a brother sent me a clip. He went to the food store and there was no food. I remember when friends of mine who were in Venezuela, they were sending me clips showing me the same thing, that there was no food in the stores. As time passed by, there was scarcely, it went from just no food at all. But one day I received a clip where they are taking the food and throw it in the sea. They was actually destroying the food and the merchandise that came through the Panama Canal. Now Venezuela is a, was, a, was the richest country between Central and South America because they have gas. And the people started fleeing to the islands. They went to like to Curacao. They was just fleeing to Trinidad, to Barbados. Then they flee to Colombia on foot. And some of them even walked on through the jungle and got to Panama. And it's sad. I'm very sad today because Christians are in America, they are prayerless. They are so sure that they're going to be raptured away and they're not going to see none of this. I'm here to tell you today, you're still my brother and sister if you believe in a rapture. I'm not against you if you believe. I'm not against you if you don't believe. But take a look around you. I have a sister living in California for the last 45 years. And I look around. I can't believe California is what it looked like. The trains are loaded with merchandise and food. And it's just sitting there and people are just looting. 
People are all over the street, even in Atlanta, even everywhere. They just, I've never seen this before. I saw this just in clips, what they sent me from Venezuela. Where, where are we going to if we don't cry out to God? What is going to happen in this nation if we don't cry out to God? We must cry out to the Lord. We must pray. We need to cry out. Christians, pray. Brothers and sisters, pray. Those who are listening to me, pray. It doesn't matter where you at in this world. This is going to be worldwide food shortage. The enemy know that the time is drawing near. And he just have but a little while. It's, it's cut down to five months. It went from three and a half years, from 1,260 days, three and a half years, to just five months. And as this continue, it's going to get shorter. Because the Lord said, if he don't speed up the times, no flesh will survive. I just want to urge you to pray. Pray for your family. Pray for your county. Pray. Prayers. We need breakthroughs. We need prayers. We need prayer warriors. We need sisters and brothers to pray. We, you know, pray. When I say sisters and brothers, those who are in the Lord, pray. Pray. We need prayer. We have to pray for this nation. We have to pray for our families. This stuff is going to get bad. I see a lot of like dead bodies. I don't know where. It's about four or five months ago I had this vision in, in 2021. I saw bodies on top of bodies piled up. But there was one hand sticking up in the air. And then when I cl went close and I looked down, it said Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I don't know where this chaos is coming from. But if we don't pray... If we don't pray, my name again is Dr. PJ from the Prophetic Word. Thank you for listening to this prophetic word. God, keep us in His perfect will and cover us all with His precious blood in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Yeshua Mashiach. Amen. And I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.